Folks, come on over. We're going to decorate the fireplace today with some blue and white. Now everybody knows what we're doing next, right here on my take on Home and Garden. I got a little bit to clean and then I'm going to show you what I might use to decorate today. This could be ultra rare, so hang on to your hats. First I'm going to dust down everything because I'm changing out the decor. Some of you know that, you've been here with us. I'm going to dust and then I'm going to wipe. I like a nice lemony polish. It smells good and it works for me. Wood, painted wood, slate, that's what we're dealing with here. Wow, now we're ready. Smells yummy already. <laughs> Let's take a look at what I might use to decorate today. And I've pulled out a lot of our blue and white. Some you saw in our blue and white collection review. And some you haven't seen this year. Trophy style face. Wonderful ginger jar, a big beverage pitcher, love this shape. And then the pair of candle sticks and a wonderful large oversized ginger jar. Now we've got a couple planter pots and we're going to replace these on the three-tiered stand that are dark and more fall-like and you can see I've already brought in the big floor vase for the split leaf philodendron now we have the wonderful pair of koi fish. You know I gotta use them. We got a fruit bowl. And we got the man with the koi. <laughs> we have the Bombay plate. And a wonderful pitcher. Different than the other one. Alrighty, what else are we doing? Let's go over here. I'm going to do a couple of small arrangements for the blue and white vases that are going on the three-tiered stand. And I've got some things out that I want to use and complement our blue and white. And then I'm making an arrangement for the top of the fireplace in this wonderful milk glass basket by Indiana Glass. And you see the festoon and it is on a pedestal. Alrighty, that's what we're working on today. Look how bare. Somebody might like it, but we don't like it. <laughs> and I've got to put some nice getting ready for summer pieces in the lanterns as well. Okay guys, let's get decorating. Okay, here's the other blue and white that I want to use in our wonderful milk glass basket. Now it's late spring so we're going to use not a heavy fern but a, a lighter 
fern like this, like a Japanese painted fern. They're real light. And it's a florist favorite. Okay, we have a pine for our oasis. And we'll be getting control of this the more we put in. Now it is about blue and white. But if you've been here, you know where we're headed for summer. So we want some yellow accents and we're going to go with these toasty colored peony right here. Get a start on filling this basket for us. We're going to want some whiter accents here too, I think, in these giant dahlia. Let's go with ranunculus on the bottom to be the longest piece, I'm thinking. Then let's look at these. Wonderful double open rows. And make sure they're not too long. I don't want to cut them anymore. Now we've started filling in here around the bottom. And we're going to go with another layer off the end with ranunculus. And you see I'm feathering in these wonderful yellow with an orange cheek roses. Oh, these are cute. I think we can do with a couple more of those. Some are open and some are tighter, but you probably get what I did here is I bought a bunch, a good looking bunch and cut them apart like I talk. And these stems are just long enough. You can bend them for your bowl or basket or you can leave them standing up so they'll just pick in like this. Look at that and just stand up there. That's what we want. This I love because it has a little branch and new leaves with it for realism and look what that does just fabulous now I'm color balancing for the most part looking at what we have I am facing the front like you with us here I want some highlights like this to break up what we have will come out the end and I'm really liking that. Maybe a little baby's breath for accent here and there. You know what that does. Here's a little carnation bunch. This will be different and we'll put that in the front. Like it's the only one we have so Let's take that, finish this up, and take it over. Two small arrangements, and these are going to go quick. We'll take a cute bundle of sprouting boxwood, get that in there for the center, and the bulk of this. Then I think some really sweet let's cut these mums looking for an accent while I'm talking that could be just as simple as those lemony buds right there how cute guys is there anybody not liking those together. 
with the blue and white. Small peony. Let's go with just a couple of these spider mums in the yellow. Oh boy. Oh yeah, okay. Then, the last but not least, we have giant daisies. For this one, really got some yellow going on here. I'll have to reduce that. I want that for a background. And for an oasis in here, all I've got is some pine cones. And then here's some more daisies. Look at this. And this is going to be very basic, simple, down, sweet. Like you just pick these out in the garden. Alrighty, let's get those over. Okay, now we're going to take our beautiful begonia out of this brown dark pot and we're gonna put it in this blue and white and switch that out you see here and that has a hole in the bottom to drain into the saucer if it needs we could have more live but for now we're gonna come in and brighten this up and I did add a cute anemone to this. Okay, so we've got our lantern electric pillar light on. We're gonna put a summery flower in, like we do for all seasons. And there's a sweet little Spider Mom for in the lantern for an accent. Okay, let's see some blue and white. Alrighty guys, I can tell now I'm going to have to take you and show you all around. Let's see what we accomplished today. Here's our white swan on the end, our booty shelf. We've got electric candles today, no smoke. This one in the front is on, a little tough to see because it's daylight and the batteries are giving me a hard time. So, don't they figure. <laughs> That's the trouble with them. Loving the three different sizes 
And like I mentioned, the round, flatter vase is the shape of your plate on the opposite side if that's all you have. And in the Victorian style, I love to put a loose piece at the bottom because everything's not perfect. You'll see that depiction in a lot of Victorian style artwork and paintings in an artsy world. Now I don't know how you're going to beat that blue and white in the background of this yellow, green and white. That just puts a smile on your face right there. Something tall in the back again and you want your lower piece in the front. Hmm. Something's going in that bowl soon. Think of it that way. <laughs> and then our yellow swan works just wonderful on the opposite end to tie it all in together with that yellow accent. It's all about blue and white, but you want that third element. I think it goes without saying so you can see how that worked out for us today. I'm real happy with this and of course I'm trying to do something different each year. We might have some same pieces and parts but it's not going to look the same. Very popular, real happy. And guys, if you loved our video today, give us a like, a share, a comment, send a friend over, have fun, happy decorating. We're going to see you in the next awesome decorate with me right here on the Maximalist Home Network. Bye guys. Be good and see you soon. More decorating coming up.